My parents divorced at seven, and uh, my mom was trying to raise me on her own and still work, and uh, it was real stressful. You know, like in my head, I can remember this one time that my mom, we had had this huge fight, just kids, kid mom fight. She had like a massive stroke. And I remember oh, that I always gosh. felt like, you know, it was my fight that might have done that. Okay. My, all the family would be like, you know, oh, Kelly, you know, don't, don't upset your mom, you know, don't, don't get her mad. And, and so I've always kind of held her with kid gloves. So now I'm as an adult, I mean, you tell me to stand somewhere, I'll stand there till I'm blue in the face. So there's a real fear that something catastrophic could happen if you're not obeying the rules. You know, there's things that, that happened in my childhood that I, I didn't tell her because I didn't, you know, you don't want to upset her. You don't want, you don't want to be to blame for any, any worse things happening. When those feelings are kind of starting to bubble up and emerge, you may not even be conscious of it. But that's probably when, without realizing it, you get food to try to keep them back down. There's things in my past that uh, I think could be a contributor. You know, I really don't remember, it's sad that I don't remember things my sisters and brothers do at the age of seven, eight, nine. They can tell you stories and things, and for some reason, I don't see that at all. What, what do you remember? What kinds of things do you remember? Something called Sessions. He called Sessions where he'd take me to a room and beat me. I mean, see, I always thought that I was a, I thought I was a bad kid. He called them sessions. This is your father? I, yeah, it? it's my father. Paul, all, it's, first of all, this sounds like really severe physical abuse. This is violence. This is not discipline. It just makes me look at myself and say, what did I do? I guess I'm not that great of a kid. I don't know why, but I do know, Paul, I want you to listen to me, okay? Look at me. I don't know why either. Paul, I do know there are reasons I know for sure they have nothing to do with you. It's your, your father was so weak. Do you know that? No, no, wait, wait. There's a difference between being vicious and violent and, and beating up a kid, okay? And being somebody who has a strong sense of themselves and, and is confident and has, you know, moral strength. Your father was this big. Your father had no strength. I'll go put myself in my bedroom for three or four days and stay in there and eat and just go back to my bedroom with the lights off and stay in there. That's, that's what I do. You're trying to escape. You have survived a war. You have survived your own personal war. And you are suffering from the effects of that trauma. And you haven't had anybody help you with this. It's because I've never talked about it before. Okay and you can get help for it, but you have to get help for it. You've taken the first, the first step, which is to talk about something that you dare not talk about before. This is a start. This is a start. You can heal from this, and this is a start. There's a reason that 95% of people who lose a significant amount of weight put it back on, because they haven't dealt with what's going on inside of them. And bringing my mom in, I knew that she would help these contestants become conscious and aware of their behaviors, um, help them take responsibility, and help them establish support for themselves when they go home, so they'll be able to continue on this healthy journey.